hi lovely people welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well and if you are new here welcome and thank you for checking on this channel today i'm making hausa cocoa powder which can stay for months without going bad and all you need is your hot boiling water and you are good to go and i hope this will be helpful and you will like it as i always say no long talk biao e b t t Okay, let's get started. I have my millet. I'm going to soak it for 24 hours. Now it's 24 hours. I've washed it. I'm going to add my spices, which is ginger, cloves, black peppercorn, and chili powder. But if you have the dried short chilies, you can use that. Now I'm going to mix it and then blend it. Now I've blended it. I'm going to strain it and remove the chaps. Now I'm done removing the chaffs. I will cover it and then let it sit to ferment for about two days for it to ferment. Hausa cocoa is equal to fermentation. So you have to let it ferment before you get it right. It's two days now and the fermentation is right for me i'm going to discard the water now i've discarded the water i'm going to transfer the base into my strainer and then squeeze it and remove the excess water left in it i'm going to squeeze it very well so that it will make my drying process faster Now I have my tray. I'm done squeezing the excess water left. I will spread it on the tray and then take it outside for it to dry. Because today the sun is popping. If you live where the sun is always popping, then you are lucky. It will dry it faster. For, for a day, your millet will dry. But if you live... In a country where there's no sun, you can just leave it for it to air dry. And that will be fine too. But today we have sun here. So I'm going to take it outside for it to dry. Next day, my millet is dried nicely. Now here you can use your sieve to sieve it or you can use blender to blend it to get a smoother powder for me i'm going to use my blender to blend it but it is fine to use a sieve too sieve too can give you a smoother result i'm going to blend it nicely I'm going to use the first batch for my cocoa and then the rest I'll keep it in the container and just leave it in my kitchen for whenever I want to make house cocoa I just get my hot boiling water and then my cocoa will be done and if you are making the powder make sure you ferment the millet very well because you don't want to be using um 
blair millet which is not fermented you will not like your cocoa but if the, the millet is very well fermented you just need only water because usually we use fermented water the fermented water to make the cocoa but in this case it's powder so you want the powder to be fermented so that you don't need any um, fermented water you get what i mean yeah so this is my powder very nicely thank you so much for watching and i hope this is helpful and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed so we keep popping with yamines and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload any new video so next time peace